Hey guys, this is Rahul Sawani from Tax Schooling and today we are going to study about the urinary bladder, its location, its description, its blood supply and its innervation. So in the beginning the question arises that what is the urinary bladder? It is actually a muscular sac which is present in the pelvic region just behind the pubic bone where the both right and the left urethra terminate and the urethra arises. It can store urine from about 400 to 600 ml and of course its size and shape also varies with the amount of urine that it contains. Remember that when the bladder is empty it lies almost in the pelvic region and as the bladder is filled with urine its superior wall rises into the abdominal cavity. An empty bladder is almost a pyramidal shape having an apex, a base, a superior and inferior wall and a neck. So here in this diagram we can see the shape of the urinary bladder. This pointed area is known as the apex of the urinary bladder which lies just behind the upper margin of the symphysis pubis. It is connected to the umbilicus by a ligament known as the median umbilical ligament. As we all know that in a pyramid shaped structure the apex always lies opposite to the base so this will definitely be the base of the urinary bladder which is also known as the posterior surface of the urinary bladder. We can also see in this diagram the posterior surface of the urinary bladder having two superior lateral angles which are joined by the right and left ureters and an inferior angle which from where the urethra arises. Another thing of the surface is that the both right and the left vas deferens lies here separating the seminal vesicles from each other and also these vas deferens and seminal vesicles separate the posterior surface of the urinary bladder from the rectum. The upper part of the posterior surface is covered by the peritoneum. Ok now let's talk about its superior surface. Just like the upper part of the posterior surface, the superior surface is also covered by the peritoneum. And as I told you before, the superior surface bulges into the abdominal cavity when the bladder is filled with urine. The inferior surface is related in front to the pubic bone and the fat behind it which is known as the retropubic fat. It is also related in front to the muscles, the obturator, internus and the levator and I. The neck of the bladder also lies in this inferior surface which rests on the upper part of the prostate and also the, the muscle fibers of the urinary bladder are continuous with those of the prostate in this area. The neck of the bladder is held in position by the puboprostatic ligament in case of male and pubo vesical ligament in case of female. These ligaments are the reason that the neck and posterior surface remains unchanged in position when the bladder is filled with urine and only the superior surface bulges into the abdominal cavity. Alright. So here in this diagram we can see the inner surface of the urinary bladder which is lined by the muscularis mucosa having many folds into it except at the base of the inner surface of the urinary bladder where the muscularis mucosa becomes smooth and is known as trigone. The trigone is upside down triangular shaped having three angles which correspond to the openings of the left and right ureter and the internal urethral orifice. In the upper part of the trigone it has a crest like structure which is known as the internal urethric crest. In the lower part of the trigone there is a small elevation which is formed by the median lobe of the liver and is known as uvula vesicae. The whole urinary bladder is covered by the muscular coat which is composed of three layered smooth muscle and is known as tetrusor muscle. The detrusor muscle becomes thickened at the neck of the bladder which is known as the 
sphincter vesicle. All right. So this was all about the location and description of urinary bladder. And in the next, we will discuss about its blood supply. Thank you so much.